We're already laughing. You know, I this love one. this. You know, I love this man. <laughs> All right, the small screen's biggest stars hit the red carpet last night for the 66th annual Emmy Awards, as you know. And here to discuss who took home the fashion gold and who came up short. <laughs> Is celebrity stylist, <laughs> our friend, Philip Block. Philip Block, welcome back. When are we going to do a special about your wardrobe choices? Oh, okay, well, Head to toe. Yeah. She just, always gets it right. She gets it I right. I tell her that. Hey. And no statement necklace today. No statement necklace. No, I kept it, like, blingy on the wrist. Mm -hmm. But enough about me, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Never enough. We could go about. on forever. And we will at some point. <laughs> just okay. not today. <laughs> Let's talk about the big winner of the night. The color red. Absolutely. Everybody was seeing red. Isn't it crazy? Yeah. You'd think people would get tired of it, but we saw so much white and so much nude at the Oscars and Golden yeah. Globes, so it was about time for red to make a comeback. Well, who Why got red was, right? Yeah. Who got it wrong? Yeah, who was a red hot mess? <laughs> <laughs> well, this Claire Danes dress, eh, a little too much. The front was way too much. The back was gorgeous. Mm -hmm. January Jones, yeah. and Prabble. That was yeah. really one of my favorite looks okay. of the night. She never gets it wrong. You know, mini driver, yeah. Eh, yeah, kind of medium. I wasn't loving it. Boring. She's, she did that great red dress when she was nominated for her Oscar for Goodwill Hunting and yeah. it fell off the shoulder. You can't top when you do a great yeah. red moment. Kind of like we talked about Hallie, no. Lavender, yeah. Lavender, Lavender. Now, historically, you know. people have shied away from the color red on the red carpet because people didn't want to compete with the red carpet. Yeah, Clearly, it. that rule has been thrown out the window. Oh, yeah, that's been gone. You okay. know, now any color goes. Now <laughs> any color goes. All right, well, speaking of a color, Sofia Vergara chose not to wear red. She wore white. <laughs> white hot. She was white hot. Oh, so yes. what did you think of that Roberto Cavalli number? I thought the Cavalli was amazing, but really, can we do another silhouette? She looked so great that time. She did the black dress. It was like a full oh, silhouette. Yes. It was really great, and now we're back to the mermaid again. She loves a mermaid gown. And she's done this dress kind of before, but it if works. you get it right, keep doing it, I guess. All right. Matthew McConaughey's main squeeze, oh. is what Camilla Alves. Yes. Uh, she's she the prize. The, what is it, Zahair Marut? Yeah. Zahair yeah. Marad. Yes. She, she looks amazing. She's a star. <laughs> you know what yes. I mean? Yes. He can put that Oscar up there, put the Golden Globe up there, the, you know, he's got her. She's the main prize. She is the, a statue, but a beautiful, Isn't yeah. she beautiful. stunning? And she just gets better and better and better. And she's a mommy. She's looking good. She yeah. is. And again, so simple, simple earrings, simple jewelry. Yep. She let the dress speak for itself. That's a lot of dress. You can't really do a lot of jewelry with that. Otherwise, it just gets way too much. All right. Now, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. Yeah. Favorite in this red. This woman is 50 years old. She won the statue last night for her role in Beep, but did she win the gold for this Carolina Herrera number. She always gets it right. She usually does Narciso a lot, so yeah. I like that she's in Carolina Herrera. Simple, chic, elegant. Most people can pull this off. You know, a silhouette we've seen many times, but elegant, classic. Lady yeah. in red. Lady in red. <laughs> you know? Her, her well, arms about, look amazing. She's yeah. doing push ups. This she, is what where she looks, he, I mean, head to toe, the arms, mm -hmm. the toning, kissing married men. Uh, <laughs> you know the crazy thing? She is the richest celebrity. Yeah. More yeah. than Oprah. Re yeah, well, she oh. was born into money. Yeah, the yeah. Dreyfus Fund, so yeah. she can afford a good dress, <laughs> even if it's borrowed. Yeah, now that's something that makes you, makes you say, oh. Uh, yeah. uh, Uzo, uh, well, t orange is the new black. Uzo yeah. Aduba, Aduba, she yeah. traded her orange jumpsuit yeah. for this oh, yes. red Christian Seriano dress hot or not. Amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. I just think it was beautiful. Again, got the color right, red, and look at with the short hair. This is beautiful. She's taken a, a little bit of a page from... From, uh, oh my God, now I can't think of her name. Oh, I love her with the short hair. Which oh. one? All right. I'm blanking. Viola Davis. Viola Davis. Viola Davis, exactly. Davis. Okay. Yes. Exactly. I, exactly. Yeah. I can see that. I, I, very, very much a page from her style book. Simple, elegant, oh. with a little bit of detail. That ruffle in the back of the train just spoke volumes. Award season's good for the Oranges of New Black Girls, right? Yeah. Because they're stuck in their oh. cell gear. Mm. They and must be so glad to be out it. there and yeah. get something on that's yeah, sexy. True. It feels good. They well, have to have make-unders to go to work. That's right. So they get to go full glam, and they're taking full advantage. Yes, they they? And they do, and that's what these shows are for for them, so they can get cast in movies. Yes. You know, especially that's why I always say about the Golden Globes. That's when the TV stars really come out to shine because they're up there with the big movie stars. But now the wow. Emmys has become movie Such stars a everywhere. Mash Julia up. Roberts. I mean, you got all the movie stars. Let's talk about Woody. Julia Roberts. Let's talk about okay, Julia Roberts. She was one of the few to go short. Now, yeah. Did, it was a fashion risk with this Ellie Saab number. Did it pay off or not? What do you think? I'm gonna give her two thumbs up. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to so give her too. two thumbs up. I personally would have wanted the skirt to be a slim pencil skirt, oh. like with the flared at the waist oh, and then a slim pencil skirt, kind of a more 50s almost silhouette. I would have felt that was chicer. 
I always feel with Julia, she always goes a little the wrong way. People were commenting it was a little too short, but she looks great. Look at that smile. Yeah. Look at the hair. It, she, better than what she wore to the awards well, this season. I think <laughs> it set her apart, and it helped her to yeah. sort of show. You know, she's sort of, I'm, I don't do TV all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm just here <laughs> to be respectful in my short dress. Yeah, yes, you know. exactly. She was, one, she was one of my favorite of the evening, as I, was I, Heidi Klum. <gasps> She Zach was in Posen. Zach Posen. Zach Posen. Oh my gosh, she was amazing. You know, I, I like this dress. Mm -hmm. I don't think it was amazing. Heidi usually comes out and goes, ta da! Yeah. yeah. This was okay. Mm -hmm. This was okay. She got the color right. It, it's okay. There's a lot of sexy Heidi under there. I want to see some more sexy Heidi. But I not just, everybody can do the front and the back. Yeah. I mean, this yeah. is a dress where she can do the front and the back, RuPaul yeah. style, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, yeah, I thought it just fit her perfectly. But that we've got to talk about one body that I was blown away by Carrie Washington. Yes. She had a baby four months ago. Uh, now, no. I didn't love this Prada ensemble, mm. but I love that she's back and better than ever. What did you make of this look? I think it worked with her proportions. Okay. You know, usually the dresses overcome her a lot because she's small. Carrie's small and she's, you know, petite in the body and the head's a little bigger sometimes. So, as we call it in, in our business, the bobblehead oh, yeah. effect. Yes. But uh, not that she's a bobblehead because I love her. Carrie's yeah, yeah. a friend. No, she's great. Uh, the combination of the black thing peeking out. Mm -hmm. I would have liked it maybe without the black thing in there, yeah. just the orange. Yeah. Uh, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it, but she looks amazing, and I'm so happy for her and with I the like baby. And I like that ombre hair. Speaking the of babies, great. Hayden Panettiere, she <gasps> wow. showed up with a baby bump. That was a risk. Yeah. That but, was a huge, huge risk, yeah. and she's doing that wide-open cleavage thing that everybody did, yeah. that Kim did very wrong yeah. last night. <laughs> but I think she carried it off, and... I did Denise Richards when she was pregnant yes. many years ago in a Neely Saab dress, very similar to this. And, and it's a risk you take going that glam and that sparkly and that sheer and that sexy when yeah. you're pregnant. But go ahead and yeah. I right. love it. There's an anatomic thing going on. You just need it all to kind of yeah, fall, fall in the right places. Fall in the right places. It's the cut. It does. It's really the cut. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it worked. Now let's talk about Allison Williams. She's <laughs> yes. in Gian Battista uh, Valley. Okay, I know this was one of your favorites. Uh, Patrick liked it as well. I, I swooned. Okay, you swooned. I swooned. Okay. I found that at 3 in the morning. I didn't get to see her on the red carpets yeah. and everything, and I was looking through everything at, last night at 3 in the morning, and I stumbled across it looking for Kevin Spacey's picture. <laughs> Boy, did I get lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just amazing. Jean Baptiste Valley hit a home run here. This dress is everything. Well, he hit a home run it, here. But oh, he some argue oh. he hit a home rank <laughs> yeah. with uh, Miss Lena Dunham. Oh girls. my gosh! Now I think this I have to dress. say it's one of the worst dresses it, it, I, that I've seen on any red carpet. Uh, she looks like uh, Cinderella. Uh, is it a dress? Is it? Is it? She's like a clown in a Cabbage Patch doll. And the sad thing is, she's she's and it's ombre, like as if it yes. wasn't bad enough in one right. color. You right. needed several colors in there. Oh my God! All was missing was the clown collar. And the sad thing is, I, I'm sorry if I gotta go on about this a no, minute, but going. bear with me. She took it seriously. She's yeah. posing like this wayfish, coquettish <laughs> thing as opposed to but isn't Ho -ho that her, the clown. That's her thing, though. Isn't that but her she's, stick? But she's posing like, like, mm. but isn't like she I'm irony? All, yeah. Girls I, is irony, isn't yeah, it? No, I mean, no, no. Oh. This dress was a travesty. She was, and she's trying here. Okay, she was trying got, to look we've good. Got, there's some other hot messes that we got oh, to get to. So real, really quickly, Blossom, Maya Oh, my God. She was auditioning for the new role of the queen. No, I mean, yeah. like, this looks like a Civil War reenactment dress. Laura what do you Bush? The queen, the queen Laura, of England. Laura I mean, Bush I swear to Helen Mirren must similar. have worn this the queen. And that necklace, give that back to your grandmother. Okay, yeah. next. And the hair. Ugh. Oh, goodness. Ay. Yeah, no, she struck out. Sarah Paulson, next. This dress is gorgeous. Armani Privé, it just needs a weed whacker. You gotta get rid of some of that. That's the stylist problem. You gotta get rid of all that tool. I wish I could stand up with a pointer and I could show you what's wrong. You just wanna get rid of all that tool. So you tool can trim that? Trim You're saying you that trim down. that down? Trim, 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 trim. Okay, so she needs a trim. Trim, 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 trim. Kaylee Cuoco, Monique Lulier. It oh looks my like God. somebody gave that dress a trim, too, but in all the wrong places. Explain. Uh, it looks like a melted piece of bubble gum stuck to tool <laughs> on the yeah. bottom of my shoe. Yeah, I mean, she, I'm sorry. That dress is she awful. And, and you had to see her husband. Her new husband was in some awful little blue tuxedo with the sleeves too short. My God. Fire your stylist. And she makes a lot of money, too, because yeah. she's on the Big Bang. I yeah. Think she's getting a million for She's making two. the Big Bang, yeah. so there's no excuse for that ugly dress. And Monique Lillier does gorgeous dresses. I, 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 maybe it looked better when they brought it to her. Oh, okay. Mm. I was stunned by that one. Okay. It was awful. Last but not least, Christina Hendricks and Marquesa. Now, Christina Hendricks and Marquesa, there again. Amazing combo. What could go wrong there? This dress yeah. is what could go wrong there. From the <laughs> neck up, she looked beautiful. I love this longer yeah. hair. Yeah. I, I kind of like this boho chic. And then you've got this, like, with that cut at the knees is terrible. It does too many it, things. It's not 
flattering her curves. It looks like that garbage bag thing. You know when they wear the dress and it's a little yes. too big? It looks garbage yes. baggy. Okay. Like Jennifer Lawrence wore one of those. Yeah. And the, the garbage bag one? gathers. Oh. Yeah. Kind and then of. this one shoulder really. And then the beading. It's like, oh my God. The why the fabric Missed opportunity. was a little cheap. Yeah. Uh, cheap. <laughs> I'm just saying. And I love Marquesa. They never get it wrong. And Christina, 50-50. Okay. But 50 -50. this one was, okay. This so was really wrong. If you had to pick one star of the yes. red carpet last night, who was it, Philip Block? I got to say, January Jones and Allison Williams, because I just loved them. That was two, but okay. I got to pick one. And I loved Halle Berry. She showed up late, so we didn't run a picture of it, although she's done Lavender to Death. She's yes. done that silhouette. Yeah. But she looked like she loved how she looked. And when Hallie doesn't like how she looks, you know it. You know you it. Believe me, I know you know it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> she looked great. Right. Yeah. I, I loved it. Patrick and I both loved it. I know you, you've seen it before. Yeah, but it's Halle Berry. I and mean, you the can't little, go wrong with Halle Berry. She just yeah. dazzled. And Hallie saying, hey, my show may not be doing well, but baby, I own this red I carpet. I own this red carpet. And I'm that's back, what and I, I appreciate right. I got this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, Philip Block, you've always got this. You got so it. Good Excellent. to see you again. <laughs> Come back soon. Uh, absolutely. All Fashion right. Week's coming. I know. I cannot wait. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.